Hey, are you a WooCommerce store owner running an online business? Are you struggling with an unmanaged customer database in your online store? Are you unable to track your leads and analyze your buyer shopping behavior? Is your checkout page facing a huge shopping cart abandonment since a long time? So if your answer is yes, then you are in the right place. Hello everyone, this is Drishti with Make Fair Better and guys, I hope that you all are staying safe. So in today's video tutorial, I will explain you that how can you easily automate your sales and marketing tasks of your business with an easy to use automated solution that is HubSpot WooCommerce integration. It's an automated platform that helps you easily manage a huge customer's database with automated workflows and HubSpot smart list that helps you nurture your leads better than before and convert all your abandoned cards into big sales. So guys, let's start the video and watch its installation and working of HubSpot WooCommerce integration. So guys, this is the WooCommerce dashboard and the very first thing that you have to do is click on HubSpot. So here comes the overview section of HubSpot WooCommerce integration and guys, the very first thing that you have to do is you have to mention the license uh, key and then click on save and activate. So this is the section which is showing that how our integration works. What we create, that is all about groups and properties and a smart list and workflows that I'll be discussing about in the video and how easy it is to use and what at the end. So guys, let's click on get started. And now comes the connection page and over here I will explain you that how can you connect your online store with HubSpot. So guys, over here the very first thing that you have to do is click on turn on the integration to enable the integration on your website and second if you wish to enable logging of the request you can do it from here and guys if you want to uh, see the HubSpot log file you have to visit the link over here and after making all the settings click on save so guys all the settings have been saved successfully and now what you have to do simply you have to click on authorize to authorize with the HubSpot app over here click on grant access and then click on yes support it so guys now we get the connection status that yes your account has been uh, your online store has been connected to the hubspot and here we get the status for the same and now if you want to uh, guys over here if you want to go with the custom groups that we have created on our integration so simply you have to click on i would like to go with the extension right and if you want to filter out of the custom groups that uh, uh, that you'll find in the integration then you have to click on yes allow me to filter so let's go with the extension and here comes hubspot custom groups so guys over here you can see that these are the various custom groups that we have provided like customer group uh, uh, custom group, uh, customer group, categories bot, uh, ROI tracking, RFM information, categories bot. So guys, these are the various custom groups uh, using which you can segment your customers depending upon their shopping behavior and the purchase activities. And guys, over here, I would like to mention that if you want to change your decision regarding the selection of the custom groups, so simply you have to click on uh, change decision, the button that you can see over here. And otherwise, you have to click on start setup. So let's click on a start setup. So the selected custom groups are going uh, are being created and we have to wait for a little while. So yes guys, uh, the selected custom groups have been created and we have got the notification. So simply click on OK. And let me show you the list of the custom groups that uh, have been created and over here you can see the status for each of the custom groups and their action status. So guys, this is how you can easily set up custom groups. Now we move on to custom properties. So guys, if you want to go with all the custom properties that we have provided in our integration, so you have to click on, I would like to go with the extension, uh, the option that you can see over here. Okay. So, but uh, if you want to filter out of those, so you have to select the second option. So we have click on uh, the extension and here is the list of HubSpot custom properties. So guys, these are the various custom properties like for customer group, we have provided the custom properties such as customer group or user role, accepts marketing, marketing newsletter, shopping cart ID and uh, similarly for shopping cart information, uh, custom properties, we have provided the different properties such as uh, shipping city, uh, shipping estate, shipping postal code, shipping country, 
So guys, you can see that how interesting and useful it is to use the HubSpot custom properties so that it will help you take the right business decisions and take the marketing campaigns, set the marketing campaigns. So let's click on the start setup and all the selected custom properties are going to be created and you will uh, get the notification. So yes, all the selected custom properties have been created and here we get the notification. So simply what you have to do, click on OK. So guys, now let me show you that uh, the status of the custom properties. So all those have been created. So guys, now comes the smart list. So similar process goes on. If you want to go with all the HubSpot smart list that we have provided in the integration, you have to click on I would like to go with the extension or else if you want to filter out of those, you have to go with the second option. So let's click on I would like to go with the extension and create the list. So yes, these, uh, so guys, uh, as you can see that these are the various HubSpot smart list, including uh, best customers, biggest spenders, loyal customers, uh, ch churning customers, low value, low customers. So guys, this is how you, you must be observing that how helpful it is to segment your customers based upon their uh, frequency of shopping in your online store. So let's click on a start setup and create all the list on the HubSpot account. So let's wait for a while until we get the notification. So guys, all the selected lists have been created as we get the notification. So simply click on OK. And here comes the uh, list of the HubSpot smart lists that have been created. And you can see with the action escalator. So guys, this is how easily you can create a smart list and activate them on your HubSpot account. And now comes HubSpot workflows. So guys, under the section of HubSpot workflows, you can see the various workflows that we have created uh, in, our, uh, in our integration and you will be able to uh, activate them and using HubSpot workflows, you can easily align your customers uh, depending upon their uh, recency of orders and shopping behavior. So guys, these are the various workflows and you can decide to align your customers in these various workflows. And now we move on to the one click sync feature of our integration. So guys, one click sync feature of our integration is going to be very, very helpful for you all as it will help you uh, sync the information for all your customers, whether they are logged in customers or guest orders. So this is going to be very advantageous for all of you uh, to sync the uh, information of logged in customers also and the guest orders also. So first of all, what I'm going to show you that how can you sync the data of uh, registered users. So let me show you that how you can uh, enable the settings for syncing the data. First you have to click on turn on the feature and next you have to create the user role that for which user role you want to sync the data. It can be either editor, or contributor, subscriber. So the one which I am going uh, with is the uh, administrator. So I am selecting this. Uh, you can select as to your business needs and the requirements and what uh, accordingly. So guys, next you uh, have to select the details like for which details So let's click on save changes. So guys, here we get the notification that congratulations, your old orders are ready to be updated over HubSpot. So guys, this is how easily you can enable the settings to sync the customers of your registered, uh, uh, registered orders. And now I'm going to show you that how can you enable the settings for guest orders. So guys, the very first thing that you have to do is you have to enable this feature right from here. And next you have to select the date range, like for which date range you want to sync the information of the orders into HubSpot. Next is you have to select the order status. These are the various options you can select as for your business needs and depending upon your requirements and then click on save changes. So guys, this is how one click sync feature of our integration work and this is going to be very very helpful for you to decide that uh, uh, using this feature you can sync the data of both the customers whether they are logged in and uh, guest. So guys now comes the RFM settings feature of our integration. 
RFM that stands for recency frequency monitoring so guys RFM settings uh, feature of our integration is going to be very very helpful for you all when you are having a huge amount of customers data and you are unable to decide that on basis of what uh, ranking you are going to set your marketing campaigns so RFM settings will help you give rank to your customers based on recency frequency and monetary recency is days since last order frequency is total number of orders spent total number of orders placed by our customers and next is monetary that what is the total amount of money spent by your customers so guys this is this becomes very easy to segment your customers and give ranks to them based upon their shopping behavior and let me show you that how can you decide the scores so for example for recency you can uh, set these scores you can change the values depending upon uh, depending upon your requirements and you can make the settings anytime you want similar uh, settings goes for frequency and uh, similar process you have to repeat for monetary So guys, just uh, you must be observing that how interesting it is. Uh, based on recency, frequency, and monetary values, you can give a scores to your customers and then decide that what uh, further marketing campaigns have to be set for different categories of customers. So this way, this helps you to nurture your leads better than before. So guys, this is how RFM settings goes on, and then click on Save Changes. So all the settings have been saved successfully. So guys, this is how you can easily set the RFM values for your customers coming in the online store. And now we move on to the general settings section of the integration. So what can you do with the general settings feature of our integration? You can uh, set orders and user role settings for real time sync on HubSpot. So guys, over here you can uh, you know set the order status and the users for which you want to sync the uh, data over HubSpot. So the very first feature is sync orders with a status. Like for which order status you want to sync the data. So you have to select the options right from here. These are the various order status like processing, on hold, completed, cancelled, refunded. So based upon your business needs and requirement, you can set the order status. Next is sync users with role. So over here you have to select the role of the uh, customers or role of the user for which you want to sync the data and then click on save settings. So all the settings have been saved. So guys, this is what you can do with the general settings feature of our integration. And now we move on to advanced settings section of our integration. And let me explain you that what can you do with the advanced setting feature of our integration. So guys, you can do settings related to the plugin like if you want to update the license or if you want to update options of your integration, simply you can do it from this these settings. So first is update license. So if you want to update your license here, simply you can do it right from here. You have to click over here. Next, if you want to update the HubSpot properties, you can do it uh, from here. Simply you have to click uh, on these options. So guys, next comes these are the various uh, uh, order activity workflow enrollment settings like if you want to add uh, for the different workflows you can uh, easily do it from here uh, for enrolling your customers in the different workflows and if you wish to create or add new workflows you can simply do it from here so guys you must be seeing and observing that how easy it is to create uh, the different workflows depending upon the different uh, actions of your customers So guys, now we move on to error tracking feature of our integration that will give you every information regarding the API calls, how many total API calls have been made, how many of them are successful and how many of them are failed. So this is the all information you can get from error tracking feature of our integration. So guys, this was all about the today's demo video and I hope that each and everything regarding the integration is clear to you and guys, still if you found any of the queries and the doubts, you can contact us anytime at support at makewebbetter.com and put your thoughts in the comment section below and guys if you want to know more about the integration we have provided the blog links and resources in the video description you can check out and yes do not forget to subscribe to our channel we'll keep coming up with the more interesting videos for you all so guys thanks for watching our video and staying with us until the next video stay safe stay positive and stay healthier